Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be installing Steam CMD on Ubuntu 22.04. So in order to do this, first of all, we're gonna make sure that our system is all up to date by typing in sudo apt update, and we'll enter in our password. Now we can see that we have 19 packages that can be upgraded. So we're going to type in sudo apt upgrade and we'll say yes. Now we actually have a new kernel version that has been updated. So I'll have to restart my system later. That's okay. So now that we've updated our system, we can add the repositories needed for Steam CMD on a 64-bit machine. This can be done by typing in sudo add-apt-repository-multiverse. We'll say yes by pressing enter. Now we can type in sudo dpkg dash dash add architecture i386 now that we've done that we can go back and update again update our packages Now we can install a 32-bit library that is needed for Steam. And that's sudo apt install lib 32gcc-s1. We'll say yes to that. And again, it's telling me that I need to reboot, but we can re reboot later. And finally, we can install Steam CMD. So, same command, this time Steam CMD. And say yes. And this is just the Steam license agreement, so we'll agree to that. And again, it's telling me to restart, but we can do that later. And there we go, we have Steam CMD installed. Now, normally I like to run Steam CMD underneath a Steam user. So I'm going to go ahead and add a Steam user by doing sudo add user Steam. And we'll be asked to enter a password for the Steam user. Along with additional details, but we can leave this empty. And we'll say yes, this is the correct information. Now that we've done that, we can switch over to our Steam user by doing su hyphen Steam. And we'll be asked for the password. Now in Steam, we can run Steam CMD. And this will update Steam. And once that's done, that's pretty much all you need to do to install Steam CMD. From there, you can install servers or games, as long as you can log into the Steam client, or you can log in using an anonymous login if you're running a server or something like that. So now that we're in Steam CMD, we can type in quit, and that will leave Steam CMD. And if we list the directory of the Steam user, we can see we have Steam in there. And if we go into Steam, we can see that this is just a regular Steam install file. Because I don't have any applications installed under Steam, there's no like Steam apps folder or anything like that but those will appear once we install an application. So there you go. Hopefully this helped. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you went. Thank you very much.